to one of my favourite songs from World War II. Did you know that I was able to persuade my father, King George VI, to let me join the fight? And I joined Auxiliary Territory Service, where I trained as a mechanic for six weeks. And I was able to deconstruct and repair all sorts of vehicles, such as jeeps, ambulances, all sorts. I had a great time and I still enjoy driving 75 years later. Did you know my sister and I escaped the palace to join in with the festivities on VE Day? What a day that was! Right, well I'm busy so you must get on now and sing your song, Our God is a Great Big God. Bye bye! Our God is a great big God It is a public holiday and a day of celebration to mark the end of fighting in Europe. It was a day of celebration. People put up bunting outside their house. The church bells rang to tell everyone that there was peace in Europe. They held street parties and shared lots of food. London was the place to be. People wore red, white and blue clothes and fireworks filled the skies. Do you remember that the Queen and her sister snuck out of the palace to join in with the celebrations of the people? She said it was one of the most memorable nights of her life. At 3pm, everyone huddled around the wireless. That's like a radio to you and me. To listen to Winston Churchill's speech. He was the Prime Minister at the time. 
and afterwards King George VI and his family appeared on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. What a joyful day that was. Can you remember some of the facts about VE Day? On what date was Victory in Europe Day? This is the day the fighting ceased with the Germans in Europe. Have a little think. That's right, May the 8th, 1945. Why did people wear red, white and blue? Hmm, that one's a bit tricky. That's right, they are the colours of the Union Jack, our flag. Who mingled secretly with the crowds on VE Day? Can you remember our special visitor who told us? That's right, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret. Why did people ring church bells? Hmm, to tell the time? No, it was to spread the news and celebrate. Well done everyone. Now are we going to be celebrating 75 years of VED this Friday, which has been declared a bank holiday. How might we celebrate this occasion? Here are some suggestions. There will be a two minute silence at 11am to remember all the lives that have been lost during times of war. At 3pm you can hear the same speech by Winston Churchill on the BBC. Perhaps in the afternoon you could bake some cakes and have a tea party. Remember to wear some clothes that are red, white and blue. Last of all, you could sing some of the old time war songs. Whatever you do, I hope you have fun and don't forget to send us some photos of your celebrations. Now it's time for a prayer. If you'd like to join in with me, please put your hands together and close your eyes. A prayer for peace. God of love, we pray for peace in our world and an end to our war. Instead of hatred, let there be love. Shelter your children and protect us. Guide us and keep us from harm. So we can build a world of love and live our lives in peace. And finally, we have the winners of the Interhouse General Knowledge Competition. In fourth place, we have Sandringham House. In third place, we have Balmoral. In second, we have Buckingham, making Windsor the winning house this week. Well done, everybody. Um, keep it up. Um, you're all doing really well. I just want to say, I hope you all have a fantastic VE Day celebrations and we really look forward to seeing some of your photos and videos. Have a good week. Bye.